guys. I'm just hanging out in my bed. Um, no curtains yet. We just moved in probably about two or three weeks ago. When you see me filming and there's a lot of people going in and out, that's at my mother's house. Um, she's getting older, so we go over there a lot. We live like three houses down. We just moved in. And um, I've got a lot of cute stuff that I have to put out. But, um, you know, curtains and stuff. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, so I wanted to go over um, the Ipsy bag um, that comes once a month. And is it worth it? And do you guys hear the kids in the background and everything? Um, it's craziness. But um, do you kids do do, do do you like it? Do you get it? Do you um? I got last month's bag and I didn't do a review for it because I hadn't started the YouTube channel thing for this yet. But I'm doing a review for August. So this is it. And I thought it was really kind of pretty. It's a pretty bag. I'll probably give this to somebody eventually because if I keep doing this, I'm going to have like a gazillion of these things. Um, she's got long flowing hair, if you can see, and um, she's having her hair brushed and uh, makeup done. Okay, so let's get to the goodies. All right, inside came this uh, Mongo Gongo. Let me see. Mongo Gongo, Jersey Shore, Sun, Nutrient Dense, Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. Okay. Smelled really good. I couldn't figure out what the other smell in it was, but my son actually said it smelled to him like uh, vanilla with the coconut. It's a heavy, heavy coconut scent. But um, I just really kind of like it. Um. It's very, I think with the matte lipsticks coming out today, it would be really good. I also think, like, um, guys, like, if you have a boyfriend or um, a husband who works, like, you know, out in the sun or goes out, you know, it would be a good thing to give them. It doesn't have a flavor to it, so that's good. I think it would be a really good guy gift, not so much for girls. Um... I don't think I would have bought this for myself. Um, so I, I'm not sure I would have gotten it in the Ipsy bag or would have purchased it or thought to get it. You know, chapstick has always been, I live in Texas, so chapstick has always been the big thing here. God! I'm going to kill him one day. Anyway, so not really. I say that like a hundred times either. Here and they're like one's 13 now, one's 21, one's 11, and one's about to be three, and nobody's dead yet. So I must be doing good. Okay. It's the heat and the proximity to Louisiana. We're all crazy. Ask Bunny. Anyway, so um, then came this uh, Supreme Radiance Complexion Booster by Peter Lamas. Let's see. And, um, again, this is something I don't think I would have gotten for myself because I, um, have a lot of skincare products. Um, I like the idea of a, um, I took all my makeup off. Even, it's hard to get it all off my eyes. I know I even have an eye makeup remover, but, you know, hey, honey, I love my. And, um, it's ultra sheer. Illuminates complexion, even skin tone, and smooths wrinkles. Now, see, this is another thing that I think with the complexion booster for all skin types, I would have given to my son, who's 13. I haven't tried it yet. It's still got the little thing on. Um, I think this is something that I would have given to him. Again, wouldn't have bought it for myself because, uh, again, I, I sell product that I would have, you know, maybe a very... Oh, and it's, for some reason, it's poo colored. It's brown. Why is it brown? What does this say? It says, um, apply to clean skin, use alone, under makeup, under your makeup, or follow with your favorite Peter Lama's facial moisturizer. Okay. My son would not put this on his skin. 
okay, um, well, it doesn't smell nice. And I have an excellent moisturizer. This is supposed to be a complexion booster and anti-wrinkle cream. So I'm going with the food color, okay? Oh my god, this stuff does not smell good. And when I say does not smell good, I mean like motor oil and God. Okay, again, not something I would have bought myself. Now, in three days, if all the wrinkles suck out of my crow's feet, you know, I will be singing its praises and letting you guys know. I've gone crazy here with that one. I will definitely come back and let you know, but as it stands, I don't know what we're illuminating or eratifying or boosting, but um, nobody's getting near me with this crap on my skin. It stinks. Oh my God, it stinks. It stinks so bad. Why does it stink so bad? God, oh. And it made my hand kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's like a, almost like you have, we'll see, they're different colors, as you can see. One's white and one's kind of, okay, so anyway. So, we've got a thumbs up. I wouldn't have gotten it myself for the um, Mongo Gongo um, Jersey, Shore, Jersey Shore Sun Nutrient. Um, the Supreme Radiance Complexion Booster, thumbs down, would not have purchased this. I stink now. Oh my god. <gasps> anyway. Okay. Now, the other things. Alright. Um, it came with a, um, no tug waterproof gel eyeliner by It Cosmetics. Okay. Let's have a look. Anything got a makeup mirror in it? Because if not, I got one. Mommy's got her big drawer goodies over here. Alright, so. Okay, I kind of like the gel liner. It reminds me of the ones. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to show you. Hang on. Yeah. I'm liking the gel eyeliner. I mean, this is no eyeliner at all. And this is a really, and it came on, came on really smooth and sweet. But here's my problem with this. Let's look at this tip. Can you see it? This is the tip on this thing. Okay. You can't sharpen it. Oh, oh, and there is a way to wind it up. Never mind. I have no problems with this at all. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to love this. Okay. Let me do the other eye. I would totally buy this for myself. I think this is an amazing feeling easy glide eyeliner. It's sort of like when you use the uh, the ones you put on, they come in the little, um, what are they called? Gosh, I don't even, I should know this. Uh, the gel liner, you know, that you put on with your, with a brush. Yeah, that's great. I'm loving this. And it goes so smooth and so easy. And apparently it's supposed to be waterproof, so. Yeah, that came out really pretty. I'm going to bed in a little bit. I don't know about doing a little wing. And we'll see how it holds for the night. But it's not doing too bad. So, yeah. And it did have a way to uh, turn it so that you can get a sharper pencil. So there's way more in here than you would think. So the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. Love it. This I would purchase for myself. So we've got... We've got really kind of one thing that I would get, and the bag. I thought the bag was cute. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in there. One thing. Ten bucks. All right, the next thing is the Japanese 
Velvet Touch Blush. Comes like this. See? Probably can't even read the name. No, no, probably not. And uh, but it's Japanese, and it's this really pretty shade. Please let it catch the light. It's a nice uh, corally color. There's that name, Japanese, and it is. It's really a, a pretty color. I don't know if anything like it other than this god awful stuff. No. Okay. Um. On. So we're gonna try a little. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Just see. Got some on my brush, as you can see. Let's see. Hmm. Cheeks. Cause you know me. My highlighter goes up. Ha! Ah, my contour goes there. How are we doing with this? Oh, I like this corally color. It's pretty. And it blends really naturally into my skin, which I like. I would buy this for myself. I would definitely buy this for myself. I think, I'm not sure what this would be worth, but it's enough product to last me for quite a while. So the blush is a thumbs up. Yay. Okay. And let's see. Can you see? It's kind of pretty. I'm not putting on some full blush. Okay. You can see it right there. That pretty coral. It did really well. Okay. Next we have the, uh, and lastly, the Neapolitan palette, which came with it. It comes with three eyeshadows. It comes with one, it's like a, um, I don't know, does it have the colors on the back? It just is natural. No, does not have the colors on the back. But I can tell you this is a... a very brown pigments in color. Your middle one is a, oh, I like that. That's going to be pretty, um, a very, um, rusk, rust, I guess I want to say, rust colored pigment there. I'll swatch them on the backs of my hand. So you can see, you can get a, a lot of liner and a smoky brow out of the first one. And I really like that cream. That might even double as a highlight for me. But if you can see, if my camera will not give out, if I had more lights, if there are so many ifs in that statement. But um, yeah, the dark one is really good. The middle one is really good. And I just don't know if you can see this really, I'll let you see it on my finger. Look at that amazing, that light one. Oh my God. Me and the highlight going crazy. Yeah, I got to do my nails, I know. But anyway, okay, so the Neapolitan, absolute pigmented, lovely, pretty colors. I would have gotten this for myself. Okay, so that's a go. So... Two absolute no's I would not have purchased for myself. Hell no. So, I'm, um, you know, chapstick, whatever. Okay. And a hell no. Hell no. I still smell like motor oil. And then, um, so a cute bag with one, two, one, two, three, four products in it that I would most definitely have gotten for myself. So it's $2 for um, four products in a cute bag. So, um, I would say August's, August's, um, Ipsy bag is a thumbs up. I wish there would have been more, um, I don't know, maybe something for my lips in here besides Congo Mongo, um, a, a, a lip liner, a, a lipstick. I wish there had been some sort of, um, 
a, a mascara. Um, I can't say how, you know, a foundation stick, a, a concealer. Um, there are tons of things coming out on the market right now. And, you know, you're handing out. Well, let's do a little better next month than um, this one. But on the whole, Ipsy, you did a good job. I liked it. And I like getting gifts in the mail. So thanks. And um, this has been my review of August. Ipsy bag. So um, if you don't subscribe to Ipsy, I suggest you do because, like I said, $10 worth of your lunch money for a surprise in the mail every month. I mean, come on. Who can't afford that? So, guys, subscribe to Ipsy. Or at least for now. Next month, I may have a different opinion.